These are the muscles that act upon the mandible. All are mandible muscles. You have the masseter, the medial pterygoid, the temporalis, the digastric, and the lateral pterygoid. The masseter elevates and protracts the mandible. The medial pterygoid elevates, protracts, and laterally deviates. The temporalis elevates and retracts the mandible. The digastric depresses and retracts the, the mandible. And the lateral pterygoid protracts and laterally deviates the mandible. For innervations, they are all innervated by the trigeminal nerve except for digastric, which is also innervated by not only the trigeminal nerve, but also the facial nerve. For origins and insertions, the masseter, its origin is at the zygomatic arch. It inserts at the angle and ramus of the mandible. The medial pterygoid, its origin is on the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate and the tuberosity of the maxilla. It inserts on the medial surface of the ramus of the mandible. For the temporalis, its origin is on the temporal fossa and fascia. It inserts on the coronoid process and anterior edge of the ramus of the mandible. For the digastric muscle, its origin is actually on the mastoid process. Its insertion is on the inferior border of the mandible and the lateral pterygoid. Its origin is on the greater wing of the sphenoid and the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid, and it inserts on the articular disc and capsule of, of the TMJ joint and the neck of the mandible.